what an awesome day it's always an awesome day when you get to pass your inspection so let me show you the system the final and we'll wrap up this parallel or stacked 12k system this is my first and um, Abraham and myself we we were thankful for this job because this job was close to home during the coronavirus time and there was nobody around so it was a great place where we could still work you know it took us quite a bit longer without the usual crew without uh, Johnny Valentine and Antonio but uh, we were able to get it done and it's just nice to have a job close to home so all right here we go let me show you around is the camera gonna switch when I do that no it doesn't I'm trying to use the new app it won't switch during video how dare you all right just a little walk around these are the 12k soul arcs and they are stacked or parallel. The one on the left is the master, one on the right is the slave. And uh, right now, this is a building, this is new construction, so there's not a lot of loads. So um, they're building their powerhouse first so that they can uh, be ready to go. So they've done a really good job here, and this building was very easy to work with. Nice to have a big, always nice to have plenty of room to do these kinds of jobs as opposed to trying to cram them in a closet. Anyway, so these two are paralleled, meaning um, they're working together. You've seen some other jobs we've done where like two 8Ks that are, are separate and you have to do separate critical loads. So we have a combined critical load panel and inverter one, inverter two are combining here in this panel. And then we have a combined grid panel. So this is, Right now it's an off-grid, there's no grid power here. We have the solar arcs and a generator. We have 17.6 kW of solar on the roof. Um, this is equipped with uh, rapid shutdown because we had to do 2017, comply with 2017 NEC code. So that required us to add the, um, we added Tygo 4Fs to each panel. So each panel is shut down if it needs to be. Um, and then the output from these panels, and I'll show you the outside, goes to this big, this is a way to step up, step up our game on our transfer switches. And so we have a 200 amp transfer switch, so we can select between either generator coming in there or solar or grid, okay? And everything is feeding this panel here, this 200 amp panel that will eventually feed the house that's not, hasn't been built yet. So, a lot going on. I, I'm not going to open the wiring trough here, but, uh, and uh, so anyhow, this, my app's sending me all sorts of craziness. So, I decided to add another transfer switch so that it would give them full flexibility to run the whole place on the generator if anything went wrong with the battery or the inverters or something, something didn't quite work right. So, they can run this entire place on grid power generator power or the solar parallel system or they can run a combination of solar and generator or solar and grid or all three simultaneously so that requires a lot of work and i'm thankful for the wire trough move because there's a lot going on in there so that's it on the inside of the mech room and then on the outside just to recap and again, we you see the SketchUp models. We modeled everything in SketchUp, and before we started cutting and drilling, and I'm just going to show you out here. So out here we have um, we basically have six home runs, six strings of solar coming down with these DC isolators, and it goes nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, fifty-one panels, and we have the first three in the master, second three in the slave. Here's our rapid shutdown buttons and um, which is within line of sight. It's right next to the meter. This is our 200, I mean 100 amp disconnect that is fusible and we have line side taps in the wire and trough for selling power back and our grid feed. Uh, we've got everything placard up. This is the 200 amp breaker GE panel. Johnny Valentine was very helpful. Shout out to Johnny on the selection of these. He has a gift for saving money. The one the one way I was going to go with this was going to cost a lot of money electrically. This was uh, this was the move. So thank you, Johnny V, for the sele selection of these two panels. I was following the manual. The manual was going to cost me a bunch of money. Anyway, 
learned a lot on doing this by myself. I'm gonna be doing the same system on my house and we're feeding it with, the cool thing is I also have two wire star on the master that fires this baby up when the battery ever reaches 60% state of charge and then it'll shut down around 95%. And then uh, again, if he has a shop here or a welder or big loads that he doesn't want to run on the solar, he can run it with his generator. And he's got 500 gallons of propane for that. So overall, had a great time building this. Um, took longer than usual, but that's just because I was slow. And it was Corona time and I'm thankful to have work. So I'm gonna let you go. If you got any questions or would like a system. So we're getting to the point where we can stack, we can stack nine of those inverters if you want or more they're getting crazy we can do three phase we can put three of those together get you true uh 208 three phase power for your shop or your small business commercial business so let us know if we can help you that with doing that so this was kind of stepping up our game here and and doing a parallel stack system um and i think that's it without going into too many gory details so send me an email, info at practicalpreppers.com, and we'll get working on your system, your dream off-grid system. And that's what this, they don't have to connect to the grid. I don't know if they ever will, but we built the system so that it could. Um, but I think that they're, if they design their house properly, they're not going to need to go um, on the grid. And they'd be totally self-sufficient here. We're working on their well next. So power, water, food, you name it. Let us know if we can help. Thank you, Engineer 775, signing out.